It's day three in our search for an early mill in Dotton in Devon. At the end of yesterday, Phil found an intriguing piece of wood. Oh, wow. That is interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Didn't expect that. But what is this? This is a piece of the water wheel. It's the rim. How do you know that? Well, look, you've got a really nice curve there, and we've got a lump of wood here, which, which I think is part of the base of a pedal. And what are these lumpy bits? Well, we, we, we've, we've got bits of pins for holding the paddles in place. But do you know that the water wheel would have looked like that? I do, because we've got this really nice late 19th century photograph. That's cheating. <laughs> which shows us the rim of the water wheel. So the this actually century. is part of that? That wheel is a fragment there. Late 19th century? Late 19th century, judging by the guy with the flat cap. Late 19th century doesn't sound much, really, but actually it's 150 years ago, virtually, isn't it? In his trench, Phil started digging. But there's a problem. There's more wood, but there also seems to be concrete. Oh, what the hell? This is confusing, Mike. Because there's, there's actually a piece of timber. This timber is coming right in underneath there. Underneath the concrete? Underneath the concrete. And yet, it's, it's occupying this trough in the concrete. And it looks for all the world as though I've got concrete. I'm not sure whether I haven't got concrete right the way down there. Could it like be stone at the bottom field rather than concrete? An earlier lining of the, of the wheel pit? Well, it might be. Because if you've got wood underneath the concrete, that might mean we've got an earlier structure to the wheel pit. Yeah, but, but, but then you see, if this concrete is laid directly on it, it might actually be stuck onto it. Well, I reckon that concrete's gonna have to come up <laughs> one way or the other. At the other end of the mill building, we've already gone through the floor of the domestic area, but there's nothing datable and no other features. This trench did give us some internal walls. We begin to plot them out to see if we can understand how this building worked on the inside. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan-funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.